What's good YouTube? It's your boy Nelson Land Bills. Welcome back to the Lost in Mono One. As you can see, I'm just going for a run this morning. It's about 10 a.m. in the morning. 7 a.m. in the morning, she's calling, I'm yawning. I'm in a local park, just going for a run. I do a little 10k run every couple of days. Uh, in today's episode of Adult in 101, I'm going to talk to you about what it means to live by yourself. Some things I learned about myself, some things I learned about just living by yourself, being uh, completely independent, self-sustainable. Um, it's been about one year since I moved out to live on my own. And uh, in that time, I would say I've learned a lot about myself. Uh, I guess you could say that I've learned what it means to live by yourself. And in today's episode, I'm going to tell you those things. I don't know exactly how many there are because I'm just talking quite candidly today. There's not much of a plan of what things I'm going to talk about. But um, yeah, like, subscribe, do all the good things. And I'll come back to you once I finish my run. Well. Okay, an hour later, 54 minutes actually. Personal best for 10 kilometers. Making my way back home now. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a shower got some water and have some food and we'll get proper into the video uh, things that I learned living alone so it's future Nelson here I've had a shower I've had some food turns out I actually wasn't a personal best um, I had new achievements but they were for actually running longer so I actually took longer to do the 10k but I'm happy nonetheless I got through it as I was mentioned earlier this month marks one year since I moved out and um, have been living by myself for the past year. Here are four experiences that I never really expected when moving out. It's been well documented on social media. I put out a thread on the hidden costs of buying a house and also in my video. So if you haven't seen the video, check that out, uh, the hidden costs of buying a house. But what I didn't fully get to grips with until I was actually living by myself is how expensive monthly it is to live by on your own especially in london you have these things that i personally when i was living at home i never paid in it so when i was at home i paid uh, gas and electric at home and also just like food you just help out when you can but all that goes out the window when you move out especially in an apartment you have service charge you have council tax those two already is like 300 pounds a month then you have you know your normal stuff gas electric water you have home insurance, which is something I didn't think about. Uh, you have content insurance. Uh, you have mortgage protection insurance. So like if you die or something happens, then the bank doesn't lose their money. Like you still pay off your insurance or pay off your mortgage. But these are all things that you don't actually see. You know, some of them are in it, but like council tax, service charge, the insurances, those are all things that you don't actually see any benefit from. You just have to pay it. So, Hopefully you do get the opportunity to live by yourself, but it's expensive, it's expensive. What's helped me with that is budgeting well. So I don't have like some super money management template. You can download some, there are a few floating around the internet. Um, the one I use is by Money Saving Expert and I always shout out Money Saving Expert and Martin Lewis because it is really practical and easy to use. It's like put in English that everyone can understand. I'll put a link down below in the description for a budget template. So it'll give you, and it, it helpfully lists out the things that I'm talking about, service charge, insurance, all these things. Um, so you can actually work out how much it's gonna cost you monthly and then have an honest assessment. It does like, how much money do you make? How much money are you gonna spend? Um, and it'll do an honest assessment of whether you can afford it. Me, I, I reckon I'm on like the brink and it? it's like money in and money out, it's like the same. So for the past year, it's it's been fun, but it's been expensive. Another thing, like I said, it's expensive, but what I've been able to do is I put my spare room, at, we're in the spare room of the nine right now. That's my house. You know, Drake calls his house the embassy. My house is the nine. So yeah, we're in the spare room of the nine now and I've put it on Airbnb. So for like a few weekends, I had some people stay and I've met like some really cool people, you know, you experience like, why, why does someone want to come and stay here? You know, what are you doing in London? You know, I've met some cool people. I had some, less pleasurable experiences where someone burnt the carpet uh, but it's a minor in it so uh, you live and you learn but 
that's been a good way to have an extra source of income a couple hundred quid but you know every penny helps for a room that's literally empty the second thing is living on your own you get to learn things about yourself that you wouldn't necessarily know especially for those of us who live at home and come from an african you know black background african caribbean background where it's like quite traditional you know your mom does the kitchen your dad watches a certain program at a certain time things have to be done the way your parents want it to be done it's not necessarily how you want it to be done so some people they clean up as they go some people leave the, the dishes in their room or leave the dishes in the sink and, and, and do it up so how does somebody not know how to flush a toilet after they've had a shit me well i was in one of yours disgusting so living on my own it's been an opportunity for me to create how I want things to be. So I've found that, you know, I put things straight in a, dish, in a dishwasher, I try and keep surfaces clean and clear. People come over and they're like, oh, what, what do you want me to do with this plate? I'm like, yeah, just put it in the dishwasher, or just leave it there, innit? I don't do anything, just leave it, I'll sort it out. It's because I've learned like how, how I like things to be done. I've built a routine but like the routine was sort of still dictated by other things happening around me. My brother goes to school, my mum goes to work, those kind of things. But like now it's me on my own, especially that in quarantine as well, I've had an opportunity to sort of develop a proper routine. So like now I go for the runs, I do like French lessons, which if you're interested in seeing how, how much French I've learned in three months, drop a little comment or message me and I'll put a, a video together on how much French I've learned. But... Les chaussures. Les chaussures. So I've been learning French, I've been doing courses, reading books, audio books, just getting into the routine, you know, I make my bed, brush my teeth. You learn how you like things to be done. That's a valuable experience as well. Number three, something I didn't realise and you, you sort of get to grips with it quite quickly or you like become aware of it quite quickly is when you're at home, you see your family just without doing anything, you just come home. Hey mom, how's your day? You know, speak to your, to your siblings or whatever. Um, but when you live on your own, you had you actually have to make time to see your family. So that's that, that was a bit strange. It's like raw, you know, especially when you're working. When you're working, and like for those of you who have like a side hustle, a lot of people who are watching this will have a side hustle as well. Big up you lot. Um, when you're working and you have a side hustle, although you was working like constantly, you're at home. So you just go downstairs or you go to your mom's room next door and you're like, oh hey and you can still know what's happening. So, when I, since I've moved, things happen and I don't know about it, and I'm like, hmm, don't know how I feel about that. Because I'm not there, that no one's thought, oh yeah, let's call Nelson and, and say, this is what happened today. So you have to go out of your way and, and make time to like, you know, ring your family. So I like I FaceTime my mum quite often, my brother, you know, just chat to them and just see, you know, just, just to chat to them. and. One of my criteria when I was moving is to not be far from home. So my brother's quite young and um, if something happens or I need to be somewhere, I don't want to be like an hour away. Oh yeah, I'll be there in an hour and a half. Hopefully there's no traffic. So yeah, I'm like 15, 20 minutes away from home. So if anything happens, I can just get there. So I, I just pop over, um, say hello. Not, no agenda, do you know what I mean? But it's just to see your family. When you're by yourself, you actually have to make time on top of your full day. Um, to just see them so that's something to bear in mind my mum come over to my house like recently and she was like oh um i hope you're not dying of loneliness here do you know what i mean i was like no you know thank god uh i'm not dying of loneliness however it does get lonely sometimes do you know what i mean like especially like when there's nothing like you finished what you need to do for the day i'm not really someone who watches tv or netflix or those kind of things so i don't watch it and end up just sitting there in silence it's like could be doing something but I don't really want to do anything do you know what I mean but when you're at home you could be doing nothing but you're doing nothing with someone so it becomes like a motive do you know what I mean becomes something think about it think especially when you have like consecutive days of doing stuff you know like like I said I have like my side hustle I have my business nine bills with music marketing and promotion have a look at that ninebills.co.uk little plug um, but like sometimes I'll be doing a lot of admin stuff for that. Do you know what I mean like emails, paying for things, just like planning. That's on top of work. So I'm working a full day. I go into into London, come home, work a full day, and then before you know it, it's like midnight. Do you know what I mean I have to go to sleep, go to sleep, and you go again. 
So sometimes it becomes a bit draining, do you know what I mean? Just by yourself, constantly just booming, booming, booming. So what I found is going home, even though like sometimes I'll go home, my mum's in her room, my sister's in her room, my brother's in his room, I'm just sitting there. I feel it like recharges me, I feel like better for doing that. So I don't know, that's just me. I don't know how other people deal with being lonely. Yeah, I find it easy to like, recharge. Sometimes just go there and just spend, I'll be there until like, one or two in the morning, do you know what I mean? Like no one's there, but I just feel it helps me to recharge. So yeah, being by yourself, it can be lonely and I'm quite comfortable by myself. When I first started doing Nine Bills, I'll get invited to shows or concerts or, you know, listening parties and those things. And I'll be like, hold on at my friends, yo, 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 who wants to come? And no one came. So I was like, all right, I'll go with myself. So for a long time, I was going to play things by myself already. So I'm quite comfortable being on my own so maybe for people who don't have that experience or don't have that who didn't have to like do things on their own they, they used to be with a batch of people or their friends it could potentially get quite lonely living on your own so it's uh, something to bear in mind another thing is food so when you go home or someone's at home before you so you can just go and there's food on the table there's no such thing on your own no such thing so you come home and you're hungry, if you haven't taken nothing out of the freezer, if you haven't uh, cooked something or you're tired, you, you don't want to cook. That's it, there's no food. That's it, like I said, I'm like 15 minutes away from home. So for the first few months, I was literally going home every couple of days, I was like, yeah, mom, I need some food. <laughs> so, um, yeah, living on your own, you have to learn to either love to cook or you have to have dough to be able to buy food every week. So um, I've gone the first option because like making more money is not always as easy as just saying it. Um, so yeah, I've been on like BBC Cook and I've been following like people on Instagram who cook and caterers and those things. And I'm literally following all these food pages and learn how to cook different meals. So at home, you know, we have like the same kind of stuff. You have yam, plantain, rice, jollof, you know, all these things. And I've learned how to cook those things already, but sometimes you just don't feel like that. You just don't feel like that, but there's loads of quick meals you can make, pastas, um, you know, spaghetti, bolognese, all these things. And like, I make a lot of food and then freeze it. So I can just take it out in the morning when I'm going to work. When I come back in the evening, it's just there, warm it and eat it. But if you don't have that in your head to take it out, you can come home and everything's frozen. Do you know what I mean? You just, <laughs> then if you can go home, then you go home and, and get something, but if not, then there's no food, then we have to start looking for Indian meat and having noodles and bread and you know, freestyling some meals like you're at uni. Uh, so yeah, cooking's one thing. I'll put some links to some quick meals that I've made, you know, it's just like pastas with chicken, pastas with prawns, um, fried chicken. I made like steak one time, a few times, it's quite good. Um, but yeah, I've learned to like love to cook. And I post it on my socials. If you follow me on, on my Instagram, you'll see I post up all the foods I'm, I'm making every day, which is quite cool. Um, and if you told me that a year ago that like, I'll be cooking every day, like different meals, you know, probably wouldn't have, uh, probably wouldn't have taken it so seriously. I think that's it to be honest. So we got life is expensive living on your own. You have to make time to actually see your family. It can get lonely and you need to know what helps you to recharge and get back to feeling normal you learn your own routine you learn like to create what you like you know how thing how you want things to be on a day-to-day -day basis just based on how you feel you know what you like and um number five is you learn to cook you know there's no shortcut to cooking unless you're gonna buy food every day it's quite difficult but um yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video. This is just an insight for me. It's one year since I bought my place and I've been living by myself for the whole year. I might uh, get a roommate or housemate next year. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, God willing, he'll still be providing, do you know what I mean? So I don't need to, to have someone compromise my space, but who knows the options there, if anything. Yeah. Like, subscribe, uh, keep up with the credit score videos. I'm gonna call up my guy today and find out what is going on with his credit score, if he's done any, any of the recommendations. So make sure to subscribe for that. If you have any ideas on what content you'd like to see 
on the channel going forwards. Let me know. I'm going to be doing some cool challenges, um, some life hacks as well. Keep watching, yeah? Keep watching. Uh, stay subscribed. Tell your friends. Share on socials. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, don't know. Okay. I was going to blow kisses, but I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I'm off. Les chaussures. Oh, chaussures, chaussures. Les costumes. Le costume. Les pulls. 